guys, welcome back to my channel. If you are new to my channel, hi, I'm Akanksha. So in today's video, we are going to talk about the makeup products I think beginners should have, which will just you know help. A look to come together. There's nothing excessive about it. They're really, really basic products. So at first, initially, I thought I'll, you know, do a tutorial of how to do, you know, how to place certain things like blush, contour, etc. For beginners, but I thought, you know, first, initially, I'll do a video for products so that you know, if you guys collect your products together, then I can, you know, try and do a tutorial on how to, you can use those products as well and the best way to use it. So today's video is going to be about what all products do you need because there are hundreds and thousands. Thousands of products in the market which claim to be for like you know beginners which are like you need to have this you need to have this there are multiple million things in this world you know which claim to be like useful so today I'm just going to break down what all is necessary for you if you're a beginner So first thing we're going to talk about is primer and uh, primer is something which is very personal. A few people like it, few people don't. I'm a person like I'm in between. I do like primers but there are certain type of primers I like. So I like primers like Milk Hydro, Hydro Grip which are hydrating primers but you know kind of have that tackiness and even out your skin as well. I don't have a huge primer recommendations because uh, I don't really use a lot of primer and I believe in prepping the skin with skincare. So I can use like just my hydration. Uh, serums, moisturizers, etc., to like just prep the skin really well and go in with foundation, and my foundation stays in place. But in case you want to go in with fiber, you definitely can. So, I have five to six products which I think every beginner should have. So, first one is foundation. Uh, there's a lot of debate between foundation and concealer, but at the end of the day, both are similar. A concealer is a more thicker and more full coverage formulation of a foundation. So, if you are a person who doesn't have a lot of acne scars, who doesn't have major discoloration or anything of that sort then go with the foundation because this will just entirely cover your face really really well and you can get an even base you can use a foundation as your concealer as well there's nothing wrong with that you don't exclusively need a concealer to use as a you know unto the for the under eyes always a foundation is going to look very very evened out you can definitely use it is going to give you a natural look but if you're somebody who has major discoloration or anything of that sort then I would recommend recommend you to go with concealer as well. In foundation, I'm going to give you two options. One is the Maybelline Fit Me foundation. It is a beautiful foundation, so affordable, gives such an amazing finish on the skin. It's one of the best foundations ever period now, i don't know a product which can beat it it's such a beautiful foundation i think any beginner can use it because it's like that easy to blend and work with uh, and there's a huge like you know shade range as well so you can always always find your shade then second is if you want to go a little up and if it is still dark drugstore but if you want to go a little up uh, then i would recommend l'oreal infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation it is a beautiful foundation the maybelline fit me is from medium to full coverage but the la girl is like Sure to medium so if you're somebody who's like you know just wants to even out everything just wants to enhance their look a little more you don't want to look really cakey you don't want your base to do a lot or maybe you just have discoloration around the eyes and the rest of your face you don't have any discoloration then you can definitely go in with this foundation because it's just going to even it out without uh, trying making your skin look really heavy or anything of that sort so these two are beautiful foundations you can choose either beautiful both amazing shade range so moving to concealer, I have two, two to three options. So one is the Elegal uh, HD concealer, bomb concealer, and has amazing shade range. Anybody can find their uh, shade range in this bomb.com concealer. And but this is more like a medium coverage for our concealer. So if you have like a lot of you know pigments or anything of that sort, then you might wanna use a lot of it. So if you have uh, that issue, then you can go with the Maybelline in Instant Age Rewind. It's again a bomb.com. It's more full coverage compared to the LA Girl one. But the only con here is in India, we don't have a lot of shade range. The last shade is caramel, which is like according, like maybe one shade up uh, than me. And like it doesn't have a shade more than that. It's a beautiful, beautiful concealer. And third is the Makeup Revolution Conceal and Define. This uh, concealer is a little thick in consistency, but does have a wide range of colors as well. So if you want like something which is more full coverage, something which like, oh no, one layer can literally cover all your discoloration 
on or, or anything of that sort then you can definitely try makeup revolution conceal and define concealer the next product you always have to have in your makeup routine is a powder no matter you can definitely use a compact powder definitely use a loose powder it depends on how you're using it at the end of the day so two powders i really like which are available in the indian market are one is the sure cosmetics compact powder really really beautiful powder you can apply it really well like precisely and doesn't crease your concealer and two is the maybelline fit me everybody has heard about it the loose powder uh, so these two are pigment powders so they do add a layer of pigment on your skin as well so if you're somebody who's going with like a medium coverage or sheer coverage foundation this might add a little more pigment to it as well so one more beautiful bomb powder i love is the laura mercier so if you have access to it always definitely should buy that powder it's an amazing amazing powder i really 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 love it so third step which is very very mandatory to have in your makeup kit is a bronzer uh so like it's either a bronzer or a blush so the sugar has this uh, palette where it is like you know three in one palette so you can definitely buy that it's a very very good in you know investment it's like I think 700 bucks if I'm not wrong, 7 to 800 bucks. So you can definitely invest in one such things, or you can buy separately or just a normal bronzer as well. Because once uh, you cancel out and everything, even everything out on your face, you are not, you don't have any dimension left on your face. So you always need a bronzer to bring back the warmth on your face. So you always, always have to have a bronzer. So if you buy this palette, then you're going to have bronzer, blush, everything in that. But if you don't, you can just definitely just buy one bronzer. or you can just buy one blush you can always contour with your blush as well so just see which is your preference if bronzer is what you want then buy a bronzer or if a blush is what you want then buy a blush either of it you can definitely use it to get uh, you know that get dimension on your face back number 4 is a brow pencil your brow defines your face it frames your entire face so i always 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 recommend to you to have a brow pencil in your routine so you can be any pencil literally any pencil uh, which you know helps you draw properly any shape don't make make sure they are like not extremely pigmented because you won't have the gap in space to work with it so i really like um, the color pop one i really like the etude house uh, pencil i like the pure cosmetics i like the benefit one the benefit one has beautiful benefit precisely my brow is the best eyebrow pencil ever so you can use that the multiple number of pencils in the market you can always always try it so fifth thing to have in your makeup uh, kit is a lipstick it's a very very basic thing to have you can always carry this around anywhere so it's always a preference if you want a lip stick like you know if you want a cream lipstick or a liquid lipstick or just a lip tint depends on your choice you always again have these things in your uh, kit so there are a lot of number of uh, lipsticks which i like i don't want to talk about lipstick list in this because always there's a preference of the shade things which you know you can you can choose so lipstick is one thing which is very mandatory in your makeup routine so one thing you can have in your makeup routine is a setting spray a setting spray just lifts off all the excess powder on your face if you've gone like very heavy on your face and it just locks everything in place doesn't make your makeup move a lot so setting spray is really really important and last but not least is mascara mascara is so damn important to just open your eyes uh, make your eyes look fresh wide and open this just you know gives so much attention to the eyes instantly without even doing much about it so few of the mascaras i really love are the l'oreal lash paradise beautiful beautiful mascara and then one more is the maybelline volume express i love the essence volume stylish so these are beautiful mascaras give you a lot of volume and length really really love these mascaras and uh, if you're surprised that i didn't mention highlighter it don't be because highlighter is not an important step of uh, makeup it is not really necessary it is good for pictures but it can look really harsh when on a new one you cannot use it and going out is a harsh line of highlight doesn't look good it looks good on pictures but not so appealing and not so necessary because it can enhance your texture and everything of that sort you can always you know highlight contour do everything with your concealers foundations as well so you don't really need a highlighter if you buy something like a sugar palette then you do have a highlighter in that as well so you know you kind of can 
like work with all of that because it's a really good investment so i just mentioned seven products for you to have and everything is super super essential in your routine so i gave you two options for each as well and in foundation i asked you you know what you want to pick as well so it's always a choice i cannot tell you what you like or the finish you like yeah that's it for today's video i hope you enjoyed the video i hope it was useful and next week i'll see you with the techniques how to use uh, these same products so stay tuned like share subscribe to my channel ring the notification bell it will mean the world to me and i'll see you guys in the next video bye